Black Friday is right around the corner. What, about a week away? Less than a week away? And Best Buy just said, screw that noise. We know you guys want the games now, so we're putting the deals up right now. They're available to order and grab them. In stores, online, whatever you want to do, these are the deals that they're going to be having on Black Friday, and they're available now. There's over 400 games here, and they just said, come and get it. We don't want you coming in the store next week doing the Zangief spinning pile driver on babies and grandmas to get your hands on Spider-Man Miles Morales. So let's take a look, right? There's over 400 games on sale. I didn't want to go through every single one of them, so I grabbed a nice little handful of things I thought were interesting that have decent prices for the most part that I want to quickly go through, give you guys a good idea of what's out there instead of scrolling through every single little thing. But link down below if you want to be grabbing some of this stuff now. But let's go ahead and take a look. So a lot of these games, if they're on the Xbox and the PlayStation, the deal is going to be the same. One of the biggest ones this year, I think it's going to be Resident Evil Village. $20 right now. PS5, uh, Xbox, whatever you want to do. And because of the free steelbook case through Best Buy. I, I mean, if you're in a Resident Evil or not, and you're just getting like a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, you just got your hands on one, definitely, you know, worth $20 in my opinion. All right, moving forward. One of them that I was kind of hoping to see a better price on, this is the launch edition, just the standard one of Spider-Man Miles Morales for $30. So saving 20 bucks, this was, you know, a launch title. Not the greatest deal in the world. Uh, if you want the Ultimate Launch Edition, it's also saving $20. Includes the remastered Spider-Man game. So $50. Not the greatest deals. Like, I would have expected these titles and a couple others to be a little cheaper, but they're just not. Okay, what do we got next? Guardians of the Galaxy. This is one I talked about before. I've been hearing really good things. Recently came out just a few weeks ago, and it's $30 off. Any of the additions that you want are going to be on sale. So like the standard edition here is 30 bucks. I believe there's this one too, the Cosmic Deluxe Edition. I'm not even 100% what this comes with. Like, does it come with extras? Does it come with like DLC or something? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's got to come with stuff that's extra bonus content. I'm not 100%. I didn't really look into it too much uh, before I purchased my copy. But there you go. What's included? Steelbook case, Sunlord outfit, for Star Lord, uh, City Lord outfit, a few little uh, you know things, digital download of the uh, game soundtrack. So if you want to grab that one, is it really worth it? It's thirty dollars off versus this one's fifty bucks versus the standard edition, which is thirty. I grabbed the standard edition. I was like, I I'm typically fine with the standard. So that's a, a decent deal. Been hearing good things. Another one that I was really curious. I was thinking, man. Maybe we, maybe we would see Ratchet & Clank for like $40, but it's $20 off because a lot of these uh, next-gen, current, they're current-gen now, but PS5 games being $70, bucks, like, oh, man, a little pricey. But if you missed out on this one, I played through it. It, it, it was a blast. I mean, it, it was a good game. Definitely uh, worth getting, but at $50, I mean, if you've held out this long, I'm sure if you hold out a little bit longer, it'll get cheaper than that at some point. Another one, Ghost of a Tsushima, Sashimi. This one, the director's cut, PS5, saving 20 bucks off. Uh, the PS4 version's on sale as well. The original non-director's cut version's on sale. There's plenty of sales on this game if you're looking for it. All right, what's next? What's next? Ubisoft always, man, their games come out, even if it's not Black Friday. Just wait two weeks. It's going to be on sale. Far Cry 6, an Ubisoft original. $20 off. Came out about a month ago. I mean, I know a lot of people figured it would happen. It would go on sale, so a lot of people waited. Uh, Sonic Colors, this uh, is going to be for every system. $25 on the Switch, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, on other systems, it's $20 because that, that Switch tax, you get that baby Sonic keychain. Decent game. I mean, if you if you liked Sonic Colors the first time you played it, if you played it, I never did. I bought this on the Switch, and it was okay. Not the greatest experience ever, but if I would have paid 20 bucks for it, I would have been happier. But I paid 40 so, you know, it is what it is. Returnal. This is one um, I've been wanting to get my hands on. I think I've seen better deals. 
A lot of people are always pointing out Gamefly. Gamefly has some amazing deals. That's one thing I have to point out. If you don't mind used games, uh, Gamefly, their deals are amazing, hands down. Like you're getting a lot of this stuff cheaper than what even the Black Friday deals are. But you got to realize they are used games, but the case and everything else is, is, you know, never been used by anybody. They just stockpile them. And then when they sell them, they send you the case with it. And I know I've seen Returnal for cheaper through Gamefly. Um, but unfortunately, like, I don't know where I live, like all these addresses around here, it's like GameStop won't deliver to you. Like if you wanted to sign up for them like to rent games from them. So if, if your address is blocked in Gamefly's system, they won't ship you games that you want to buy. So that's one reason I haven't bought from them is simply because whenever I've tried, they're like, oh, we don't ship to your address. Like you mother. Mm. Another game that recently came out a little over a month ago. Absolutely love it myself. I know I've heard some criticisms, but Monkey Ball Banana Mania Anniversary Edition. 25 bucks, I think maybe... Yeah, PS5, everything else, that Switch tax. You're going to get it cheaper, $5 cheaper on other systems. So keep that in mind. PS5 version is 20 bucks. Can't go wrong, in my opinion. Like I said, I've heard some, some people say, ah, you know, have some negative things to say, but I think overall it's been fairly positive with that game. Another one, Deathloop, <laughs> like recently came out as well. A lot of newer stuff is on sale. Not everything that we would hope for, but $30, saving 30 bucks off. PS5, Windows, $30 if you want it. There it is. I'm still, like, I'm not 100% on this one, man. Like, it, it didn't, I don't think it's necessarily a bad game, but I just didn't look appealing to me. Now, this one I highly freaking recommend. I absolutely loved it. If you have a Nintendo Switch, Cruising Blast at 25 bucks, hell yeah. If you love the original cruising games in the arcade, or if you just really liked them on the uh, Nintendo 64 back in the day, this game, I, I mean, I had a ton of fun with, and I paid $40 for it, and I'm happy I did. But at $25, yeah, if, if you were waiting, or you could, because I know for a short while, Cruising Blast, like it went out of stock everywhere um, for a short while, for a short while. And if you missed out and then kind of forgot about it, but you still wanted it, Now's the time, man. 25 bucks. Hell yes. Uh, Demon Slayer, the H Hinokami Chronicles. 35 bucks. This one came out a month ago as well. Uh, I bought it for the PS5 and for PC because I have a lot of people in my house who like Demon Slayer. Um, and I've had a lot of fun with this game. It, it, I definitely would recommend looking at reviews if you're not into Demon Slayer or if you've just kind of barely heard about the, the anime and whatnot. Uh, and you're kind of interested, look at some reviews, maybe some gameplay of this because it may appeal to you. It may not. I've had fun with it, but yeah, to, to each their own on that one. I, I think it's a great game, but I don't think it's going to be for everyone. If you're a Demon Slayer fan, then yeah, it makes sense, right? Uh, the next one that's up, Nickelodeon All-Stars Bra. $30 on every system here. So yeah, I played this. I didn't really like it at all. If you're a big fan of all these, you know, properties and whatnot, Cat Dog, some Ninja Turtles, SpongeBob, freaking real ah, real monsters, Ren and Stimpy, it might be your thing, but I I think, you know, I know the developers are like trying to balance things and work on it and putting out patches and updates, but when I played it, it I, I wasn't feeling it. I really wasn't feeling it. But if you really love those those properties, like I said, you grew up with some of those cartoons, and yeah, why the hell not? Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater One and Two for the Switch is twenty bucks. What else? It's uh, thirty dollars on PS Five and Xbox Series X, but for the Switch, it's twenty, saving a little bit of money there. Not too bad. Fun game, absolutely worth it. Hot Wheels Unleashed. This is one that I bought it for the Switch. I paid full price, but I've been hearing people say. If you have like the PS5 or the Xbox, get it for that system instead. Uh, unless you know you really just want to play the game in portable. On the Switch, it's good, but I guess you know the graphics. It just looks a lot nicer. Maybe the loading. I don't know. I just heard a few things, but on the Switch, it plays fine. So no matter what system you get it for, uh, you you should have some fun with it. It's twenty five bucks on the PS4, but yeah, it, it it's it's a fun one. I can kind of recommend it, but you know. To each their own. 
This is one I was hoping a little bit of a better deal for because I know Death Stranding had like it, it had its 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 fans and then it had its people kind of in the middle and then you know it, typical stuff, right? I mean, I'm not saying anything profound here, but it was very polarizing, I guess you would say, uh, when people first saw this game in action and playing it. It's a different type of game. I absolutely loved the presentation. It, it was a fun one for me, and I've played through it a few times, the PS4 version, and once on the PC, but I was really hoping to get the director's cut for the PS5. I was I was hoping it would be a little bit cheaper than this, because you're only saving 10 bucks. But if you were waiting for it, that's a deal, I guess, right? What, what else can you say? Uh, if, you, <laughs> if you didn't get Assassin's Creed Valhalla launch title... $40 off. These $20, I'm pretty sure, for uh, every system. Yeah, it's going to be 20 bucks if you skipped out on it. What else do we got? Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Just one I threw out there. I'm not into this franchise too much, but my kids absolutely love this game. And this was one that, like, when it first came out, I had to grab it. We actually have a copy for the Switch and the Xbox. So my kids love this game. It's a fun one for kids if you're into it. I mean, I see the appeal either way. I've played it a little bit, and I do like it, but this is definitely one to consider for them children's, right? There we go. Uh, Hades, $20. Saving 10 bucks doesn't sound like the best deal ever, but for a PS5 game that has like gotten a lot of positive press and it's definitely a great game, I mean, $20. It's worth it, right? What else do we got? We only got a handful more to go. Lost Judgment, you're saving 30 bucks. Another one that just came out about two months ago. Definitely worth it. This is one um, I'm thinking about picking up because I've been eyeballing it for a while. And I did not notice this was on sale when I placed my order earlier. When I grabbed a couple things. But there you go. PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, $30 for Lost Judgment. And then we have a Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This is one that came out six months ago. And, you know, not a bad deal here. You're saving 32 bucks, $28. I don't know that I've seen a better deal anywhere as of yet. Maybe some places have this slipped in for $25. I'm not sure. But at $28, if you're a Mass Effect fan, it's, it's a decent deal, right? Another one that I think is pretty good, but not the greatest deal ever. But Disgaea 6. Unrelenting Edition, Defiance of Destiny, you're saving 20 bucks. These games, man, uh, they're, they're ones if you're really into uh, the franchise, it's kind of like grab them when they, when they come out because you don't know how long they're going to be printed. Like You just never know. And Disgaea 6 is, is possibly going to be one of those. If, if you don't grab this game within like the next... I, I'm not trying to fear monger. I'm just saying. like If this is a game you don't grab within maybe the next six months... You're going to start seeing where it's not available anywhere and people are charging $100 for it type of thing. Bound to happen. That's just a prediction, but I always say it with, with these, uh, these NIS America, NIS America, whatever, whatever you want to say. If you want the game, grab it when you can. And this is a good deal, man. That is a good deal. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. This recently came out physically. Uh, it's only $5 off, but it was one I thought I'd point out. I know a lot of people like this game. I purchased it on the Switch. It's the same. I mean, I've, I've had it for the Switch. But yeah, on the Switch, it's the same deal, 25 bucks. Moving on, Neo Collection. You get one and two remastered, saving $30. Came out early this year. I think I've seen a few deals here and there. Maybe a bit better than this. Let me know in the comments if you've seen a better deal. I haven't checked the data on it. But this is one I thought I'd point out because th these are some really good games, man. Really good games. All right, only a couple more left. One of my favorite games of the launch of these uh, current generation systems, Yakuza Like a Dragon. I freaking enjoyed the hell out of this game. It's unlike other Yakuza games. It's a role-playing game, turn-based, you know, fighting and all that. And I just really loved it. The character, the storyline the interactions with everybody. It, it, it was like my game of the year last year, pretty much. 20 bucks for Xbox or PS5. Well worth it if you're into those kind of games. Balin Wonderworld. I just had to throw this one up because I thought it was going to be cheaper, man. I thought they were going to throw these at you. 
just for buying anything. Like, we can't get rid of these. Take them, please. Ah, very mixed on this. I've heard people really enjoy it, and then a lot of people, myself included, I own two copies of this game for the PS5 and the Switch. I tried, man. I really tried. It, it's, man, what we thought we were getting was not what we were getting, but I only have myself to blame for buying it because I played the demo, and I thank them. Like, hey, thanks for putting this demo out so we don't waste our money on this game for those of us who are hoping it was something else. I mean, I didn't pay full price, mind you, when I did buy my copies. I mean, I bought, like I said, Switch and PS5, two copies for even less than what the game was going for originally for one copy. So, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, 15 bucks. Man, they should be giving those away. This one I highly recommend. I wish it was a little bit cheaper, but Blasphemous Deluxe Edition. I believe it's also available on the other systems, but for 20 bucks. Better deal if you have those systems on the Switch, you're paying 30. Great freaking game. I, I believe I may have reviewed this. I know I've done some video content on it in the past. Well worth it. Well worth it. Another game that I really love and I just wanted to point it out because fuck, man, $15. If you have not played Dragon Quest XI, it's a great game. And at 15 bucks to have it physically, why the hell not? And this is the definitive edition that has the 2D mode, the orchestral freaking in-game music, like it says, uh, which was originally just on the Switch, but boom, you got the PlayStation the Xbox version. 15 bucks. Grab it. I say grab it. I love that game. One of my favorites. Scarlet Nexus, another one um, that recently came out about a half a year ago. $25. Uh, pretty decent reviews on it. Not a bad deal at all. No matter what system you want to grab it for, it's 25 bucks. And then what do we have? Final. I don't know why this one's last on the list. It was just how it came up when I pulled these up. But 25 bucks for Catherine Full Body. Um, good game, but not the best deal I've ever seen. I believe I may have seen this either for around this price or maybe 20 bucks in the past. But one of those Atlas games where I think you may regret not grabbing it when you can if you were looking at it or if you're just a collector. And I think this deal was pretty pretty damn good. So those are the deals I wanted to share with you. Like I said, I don't know how many. That might have been like 20 or something like that. Maybe a little more. But there's over 400 games on sale. Link down below. Check it out. Let me know what you grabbed if you grabbed anything. Really do appreciate every single one of y'all mofos. Really do appreciate y'all. I'm you know kind of kidding a little bit. But I do appreciate you guys much big ass blurry thumb butt like a bigfoot <laughs>